Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to go over a recent overhaul that I made to my home Wi-Fi network. We will go over my existing setup, reasons for making the shift and unboxing and review of the Orbi Wi-Fi 6 mesh system. I used to believe that I had a fairly good network setup at home. It consisted of an Ares Surfboard SB8200 modem, a Nighthawk R7000 router, a wired connection to a Netgear AC1200 Wi-Fi range extender in the basement. This is configured as an access point and a 500 megabit internet connection from our local internet access provider. This has worked well for many years with nothing more than the occasional restart of the router. For the past several months, however, due to all the lockdown stuff, my home network has been pushed to its limits with at least three computers doing Zoom video meetings all day for my kids, my wife and I on laptops work and possibly a TV streaming some content in parallel. This finally took its toll and my router started acting up about a month back where it would just randomly reset about once a day. I don't know how this works, but the reset happened always at the wrong time. I tried my best to research how to fix this. I messed around with the firmware, tried to make sure that the router was not overheating, etc. Unfortunately, nothing worked. To be clear, my issue was not speed. When my system worked, speed was not a problem. My issue was mainly the reliability. So after doing a lot of research online and talking with a few people, I decided to take the plunge into the mesh router space and went with the Orbi Wi-Fi 6 router. Through this video, I hope to share my findings with the YouTube world so that your search can hopefully be a little easier. As always, I will include all the links to the products that I use in the description below, both for the old and new setup. If you are interested in this type of video, please subscribe and hit the like button below. Let's start off by taking a look at what's included in the box. The package I got is from Costco. Costco often has the AX4200 version on sale and I picked mine up, which is a router and two satellite units for $429. I will go over the differences in the AX4200 and 6000 versions coming up in a little bit. The setup was fairly simple. I unplugged all the old cables and in my case, this includes several switches that I have which provide wired connections both to my office as well as for my home theater set up in the basement. This means a few extra cables to move around. I set up the main Orbi router in my office on the first floor and placed a satellite in the basement. Again, using the same wired connection that I previously had. The second satellite went on the second floor in one of the bedrooms. This three unit package per the box is intended to cover 7,000 square feet. So this is more than enough to cover my house and probably even the neighbor's house. Per the instructions, it states to use the Orbi app to do the setup. But this for whatever reason did not work for me and I ended up logging into the router from my desktop and doing the configuration, which was simple. In general, I saw an immediate increase in speed throughout my house, with the minimum Wi-Fi speed on my iPhone being above 200 meg no matter where, and most of the time hovering around 400 to 500 meg range. So a significant improvement in speed compared to what I had with my previous setup. Let's now take a look at what makes the Orbi Wi-Fi 6 system so good from my perspective. As touched upon earlier, the Orbi is a tri-band router which means there is a third channel dedicated to the backhaul communication between the Orbi router and its satellites. Or in other words, it creates a virtual wire that is dedicated solely for data flow between the router and the satellites. In contrast, dual band solutions use the same Wi-Fi bandwidth to not only connect to end devices, but also between the access points. By using a tri-band architecture, the front hall channel is immediately available for devices to connect. This improves efficiency as compared to a dual band Wi-Fi system, especially as more devices are brought onto the network. The package that I picked up from Costco is the Orbi 4200. This is slightly different than the AX6000 unit as in it has slightly lower specs on paper. 
In my opinion, however, these differences are ones that won't really impact majority of the use cases for an average home. Let's take a look at a few of them. To start off with, the AX6000 can support more devices, although both of them have the plus sign next to the numbers, so not clear what the upper bound is. This is a tri-band router, meaning there are three separate channels on it. One at the 2.4 GHz and two at the 5 GHz. The 2.4 and one of the 5 GHz is used for the front hall functionality, meaning these are the channels that are used for all of your devices to communicate. The 4200 is of 2x2 two two configuration, meaning that there are two transmitting and two receiving streaming antennas. This results in the access point having the capability to simultaneously connect two clients, one on each stream. The 6000 is a 4x4 configuration and can support simultaneously connecting four clients. The backhaul channel, which is one of the remaining 5 GHz channels, is a 4x4 configuration for both models. In addition to this, there are speed differences on the WAN and LAN ports. However, for most people, this is not going to be a huge difference maker. So in my opinion, if you can find a good deal on the 4200, it may be sufficient for most use cases. Wi-Fi has evolved over the years, starting with 802.11b and AG many years ago. For all practical purposes, Wi-Fi 6 is currently the latest generation of Wi-Fi. The latest standards take into account speed, but also addresses the growing number of Wi-Fi devices in an average household. It has incorporated new technologies to help resolve issues that come into play when many devices are accessing a single home network. So in theory, even if your internet speed from the cable company remains the same, Wi-Fi 6 should help improve the performance of your network, at least for those devices that support Wi-Fi 6. It should also help the multiple devices maintain their speeds and not get into performance issues that may have happened in the past when the network was busy. Another area of Wi-Fi 6 that seems promising is that it has technology to help improve battery life of devices by controlling or scheduling when devices check in with the router. This could also be very useful in this mobile world. As mentioned before, my house is wired to have a CAT6 connection between the main floor where my router is to my basement. With the Orbi, I am able to use this wired connection so that the router and the satellite in the basement communicate over the wired connection instead of the 5 GHz backhaul channel. Communication with the second satellite, however, is wireless and this combination of wired and wireless is supported well with the Orbi 6. With the Orbi, although there are both 2.4 and 5 GHz channels, it is able to show a single SSID to the user. While this is a feature supported by most modern routers, it's a useful one that lets the router handle the decision on what's the best network for a given device rather than having the user manually select it. Having used this new network setup for a little over a month now, I am very much satisfied with the stability of the system as well as its speed. I am very happy to report that I have not had to reset the router even once during this time and I have had no complaints from my family. So even though it was an expensive upgrade, I am satisfied and happy about the results. In the world that we live in today, the home network is essential and for this reason, I consider this money well spent. Thank you for watching and I hope the information from this video is helpful for you in identifying the correct solution for your home.